Some more news that Reema wants to fill us in on. With several brokerage conferences in recent days, we've been getting a lot of comments from key IT companies amidst rising demand concerns across the sector. So today the focus is on HCL Tech. Reema is once again back at the big wall with all the details. Reema. Thanks so much for that. Well, you know, for HCL Technology, one of the most attractive features is its valuations which is cheaper than peers. So let's pull up the valuation picture for FI24. HCL Tech at 15, 15 and a half times has always historically traded at a discount to peers. And this time as well, it is trading at a discount as you can see. Now, last quarter's numbers were a particular miss on the margin front. Margins for HCL technology came in at a decade low. And this chart here will show you how the margins have fallen from their post-COVID peak. In fact, at one point of time, the margins were as high as more than 22%. And the street was worried that after a 17% drop-off in margins in Q1, can the company meet its full-year margin guidance of 18 to 20 percent? So on the topic of margins, this is what the management had to say. They said that Q2 margins will be better than Q1, despite the wage hikes and attrition, which means quarter on quarter there could be some expansion on the margins. The company is still on the hunt to achieve the lower end of their FI23 margin guidance of 18 to 20 percent. So they're holding on to the margin guidance, but it's going to be at the lower end. And the focus, the CEO said, is on improving margins over the medium term once the supply side situation is perhaps eased on growth the HCL tech management is fairly confident about achieving its FI 23 revenue growth guidance of 12 to 14 percent that's the guidance for the full year they say that despite the uh, you know macro volatility the uncertainty the pipeline has seen a very strong conversion so far this quarter the demand is solid in the near term across all parts of the business except for segments such as mortgages and the department stores the big change in the management commentary is the percentage of cost takeouts in terms of deals versus the transformation deals and now what the management is saying is that we're seeing more of the cost takeout deals versus the transformation deals compared to just three quarters ago and finally as we wrap this up a quick word on what the street is going to be watching will the company be able to meet its margin guidance it appears to be a tall task not everyone on the street is very concerned and secondly it also has a very high exposure to engineering R&D ERD as it's called in the past macro cycles the ERD outlook has been impacted due to the macros. This time, the management is saying it's going to be different, but the street is going to be watching out for the ERD outlook for this year as well as next year very closely. Back to you. All right, Reema, thanks a lot for that and taking us through that entire explainer.